This is What Rep It from the What Rep It Combat Sports Network. In this video, you will be seeing and translated into English an interview with Julio Cesar Chavez Sr., a.k.a. El Gran Campeón Mexicano. You will see him explain the extraordinary circumstances in which post-fight versus the great Hector Macho Camacho. He was involved in a get-together with all the top cartel bosses of Mexico. All of them were there. All of the top dogs of that era were there. And to this day, a lot of the names that will be mentioned in this interview are known today as famous people. It's just a little piece of boxing history that is interesting and it's here to stay and it's a great piece of knowledge guys uh enjoy the video enjoy the interview the day that i beat macho camacho that day there was about a thousand years of prison sentences surrounding me in a reunion there was the ariano felix there was guero palma It was Amaro Carrillo, el, el Señor de los Cielos. There was Chapo Guzman. There was El Azul Esparagosa. El Mayo Zambada. And the Ariano Felix. And they all wanted to know me. And I was right there in the middle of all of them. They were all talking, they were all excited about the fight, talking about what was going on, they were excited. And I was tripping, I was still tripping. It had been, it'd been the first day that I hadn't taken any cocaine. They were all excited still about the, the fight of Macho Camacho. They were all trying to ask me. They were all trying to tug at me, asking about the fight, right? All these cartel bosses were telling me. They were excited. They were like fans. Until I got mad. And I just said, what the fuck, man? You guys are bothering too much. What the, what the hell is going on? All I wanted was some cocaine, man. That's You understand? All I wanted was some cocaine, and these guys were bothering me. And then all these guys were, were, were cartel bosses, so like, where's my drugs? I was thinking in my brain, right? Like, where's the, where's the cocaine? By the way, they had about 300 armed motherfuckers with them, surrounded. And not one of these motherfuckers that was with them had an ounce of cocaine or anything. So then I told him, so if none of you motherfuckers have any cocaine, I'm getting the fuck out of here. No, then they said, stop, 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 stop. Don't worry, we got we got what you need. We got what you need. And they got me what I wanted. And that's the story. As a side note to the entire interview, uh, three weeks later, although all these Gentlemen, all these cartel bosses were gathered in the event in peace and having a good time. Obviously trying to talk to the champion, Julio Cesar Chavez, right? Three weeks later, they all went back to war. A war break out, broke out between all the cartels. And that was the end of all that peace. So boxing brought them together for a peaceful, peaceful uh, gathering. But three weeks later, back to war and war and war. It's just a little bit more of a historical fact right there. Subscribe to What Rep It if you dig this content. And salute to you all.